We're given matrix A, which is a three by three matrix, and asked to find the eigenvalues of A, which means you want to find the values of lambda that satisfy the equation, the determinant of A minus lambda I equals zero, or the equivalent equation, the determinant of lambda I minus A equals zero. So for a quick review, if A is an n by n matrix, suppose vector x is a non-zero vector in Rn, and lambda is a number or scalar, such that Ax equals lambda x. This means that Ax is a scalar multiple of the vector x, where the vector x is called the eigenvector of A, and lambda is called the eigenvalue of A. Let's go ahead and set this up using this equation here. So we'll have the determinant of vector A, which is given, minus lambda times i, lambda times the three by three identity matrix would give us this matrix here. And this determinant must equal zero. Let's go ahead and find the difference of these two matrices and write the determinant using vertical bars. So the first row would be two minus lambda, negative five minus zero, which is negative five. Five minus zero is five. Second row, we'd have zero, three minus lambda, and negative one minus zero, which is negative one. Third row, we'd have zero minus zero, negative one minus zero, and three minus lambda. And now let's use expansion by minors, or the cofactor method, to evaluate with this three by three determinant. So if we use the first row, we start with the first element in row one, which is two minus lambda. And now we're going to multiply this by the two by two determinant formed by eliminating the row and column of two minus lambda. So we eliminate row one, column one, so the first row is three minus lambda and negative one. Second row is negative one and three minus lambda. And then we'll have minus, the next element in row two is negative five. To form the next two by two determinant called the minor, we eliminate the row and column of negative five, so eliminate row one, column two. So the elements in the two by two determinant are zero, negative one, zero, three minus lambda. Then we have plus. The last element in row one is positive five times the two by two determinant formed by eliminating the row and column of five. So we eliminate row one, column three. So we have zero, three minus lambda, zero, negative one. And this must equal zero. Let's continue on the next slide. And now the value of each two by two determinant is equal to this product minus this product. So here we have the quantity two minus lambda times, here we have the quantity three minus lambda times the quantity three minus lambda minus negative one times negative one and this becomes plus five times, here we have zero minus zero. Then we have plus five times zero minus zero equals zero. So here we have the quantity two minus lambda times, let's go ahead and find this product here. So we have nine minus three lambda minus three lambda, so it's minus six lambda plus lambda squared. And this ends up being minus this simplifies to minus one. Of course, this is zero and this is zero. So this product here is equal to zero. Let's go ahead and combine the like terms here. So we have two minus lambda times the quantity, you will have lambda squared minus six lambda plus eight equals zero. Looks like this will factor again. So we have the quantity two minus lambda and we'll have two more binomial factors. The factors of lambda squared are lambda and lambda. The factors of positive eight that add to negative six are negative two and negative four. 
So this product equals zero when lambda equals two or lambda equals two or lambda equals four. In our homework system, we're asked to enter lambda sub one, lambda sub two, and lambda sub three, and we're asked to enter the greatest values of lambda first, so we'll enter four, two, and two. I hope you found this helpful.